So this is the second vid for the first lesson in the differentiation two pack. Um, and I really like differentiation and, and its opposite, which we've not done actually. Uh, right, so let's have a look then. So a model helicopter takes off from a point O at a time t is zero and moves vertically, so its height is given by that equation there. So find dy by dt. So look, y on the left, t on the right. So dy by dt is good. So I've got a quarter times by 4t cubed. So that's just going to be a t cubed. I've got minus 26. Sorry, I've got three. Minus 26 times 2t, so that's minus 52t, plus 96. And then I want to differentiate it again, so I have 3t squared minus 52. Yeah. Right. So I'll look at part B then. So part B says, verify it has a stationary value when t is 2. So if I use t is 2 in dy by dt, so 2 cubed minus 52 lots of 2 plus 96. Now remember, it's like a verify, a show that, so I need to show a little bit more working. So dy by dt will be, so I've got 8 there, 104 minus 104. So dy by dt is 0, therefore that's a stationary point. Stationary, I've got my right, it's shocking that t is 2. But then it says, so I've got my stationary point, I want to see if it's max or min. So I need to sub it into the d2y now, don't I? So for d so t is 2, d2y by d2 squared is 3 lots of 2 squared minus 52. So that's 12 minus 52 minus 40. So d2y by dt squared is minus 40. So d2y by dt squared is less than zero, therefore it's a max of t is 2. So if t is 2, it's got to the top, hasn't it? It's got as high as it's going. That's what it's saying for t is 2. It's gone as high as it can go. That looks very, very messy. I'm very sorry. So find the rate of change when t is 1. So when t is 1, so dy by dt is 1 cubed, 52 lots of 1, plus 96. dy by dt is 45. Uh, y is a height in centimetres? Yeah, and it's seconds, so that's centimetres per second. Ooh, a bit in my back. So determine if it's increasing or decreasing when t is free. So if I check what the dy by dt is, because y is the height, I want to see if the change in the height is going up or down, the gradient of that graph. So when t is free, dy by dt is 3 cubed minus 52 lots of 3 plus 96. So dy by dt is uh, minus 33. So my dy by dt is less than 0, therefore increasing. Yeah. Whew, I don't think I've stopped breathing, if it's stopped for a breath yet. So determine whether the speed of the helicopter is increasing or decreasing. Right now then, let's have a think about it. If y is the height, then dy by dt is its speed. So I want to do the determine whether the speed of the helicopter is increasing or decreasing. So if your speed's increasing or decreasing, I'm looking at the acceleration. And the acceleration is d2y by dt squared. That's my acceleration. 
So I need that. I've not used it, have I? Where was it? We worked it out. 3t squared minus 52. So d2y by dt squared. So it's 3t squared minus 52. So when t is 3, d2y by dt squared, three lots of 3 squared minus 52. Oof, we're in our room here. So d2y by dt squared is 27 take 52, so minus 25. So d2y by dt squared. So d2y by dt squared is a change in speed to see if your speed is increasing or decreasing. So that's less than zero, so therefore the speed is decreasing. Is that really decreasing? I reckon that's that lesson done with. A mega amount of consolidation, which is amazing. Right, see you later.